So going back a couple of generations, my great granddad had horses. My grandfather was in the fruit trade and he had horses. My dad from being 14, 15, has always been around horses, buying, selling, breeding, trading. I did the scrap collecting when I was 19 and Carl's followed in the footsteps of the tradition what the Norrises do for a living recycling. I wanted to document the journey, the people that I'll meet on the way. A lot of people have seen pictures of Appleby in the River Eden and hundreds of times people have seen those pictures. I wanted to get something a bit different. I wanted to show my perspective on my journey and I know when I envisage doing it this way I'd learn something about myself. It was up and down hills all over the Yorkshire moors. So there's a lot of sightseeing at a real leisurely pace and just taking in the vista of the nature, which I'd like to say I'm a city boy. It's something that I don't experience. Appleby Fair, it's the longest running horse fair. It's been running since 1775. Started out in 1775 as a, like a farmer's market. People just go buy and sell horses and cattle, sheep, and it's turned into a spectacle which is the largest horse fair in Europe. I think the future of the fair will continue. I don't think it'll ever stop. There's a big celebration of life. People get christened there, people get married there, people probably sc scatter their ashes there. And I think it's just, it's there, it's, it's there to last. The book is for the generation after I've gone. I wanted in the book to show the lineage of the family, where, where, I, where I've come from, looking back over the years and reflecting to think I've come from this family of resilient, hard-working people 